All righty. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Sydney. So today we're going to go over the history, geography, and climate, activities, holidays, and festivals, the culture, the food, fun facts, and finally conclude it with a video. All right, so let's start off with the history. Sydney was named after Lord Sydney, a British Home Secretary, when Captain Arthur Philip and the First Fleet arrived in January 1788. However, Aboriginal Australians have been present in the harbour far longer than the British, dating back to at least 50,000 years before Philip chose Sydney Cove as the site of Australia's first penal colony. Their colony had a rough start, and after four governors and a military revolt known as the Rum Rebellion, Governor Lachlan Macquarie was put in charge. He restored order and returned Sydney to a busy commercial seaport, exporting wool to Europe, and rivers, lakes, banks, universities, and even dictionaries were all named after him. In 1840, transportation of convicts from Britain finally ended, and gold fever struck in, the 18, in 1859. By the, by the 1870s, Australia's population was steadily increasing. The geography. Sydney is located on a basin border by the Pacific Ocean to the east, the Blue Mountains to the west, the Hawkesbury River to the north, and the Warona, the Waronora Plateau to, Plateau to the south. The city lies on a submergent coastline on the east coast of New South Wales, where the ocean level has risen to flood deep river, river valleys carved in the Sydney sandstone. Sydney lies on Triassic shales and sandstones, a region consisting of low rolling hills and wide valleys. The climate. Sydney has a humid subtropical climate with warm and hot summers, with the hilly wet areas of the North Shore and suburbs having an oceanic climate. The warmest month is January with an average temperature range of 19.6 to 26.5 degrees Celsius or 68 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The coldest month is July with an average range of 8.7 to 17.4 degrees Celsius or 47.4 to 63 degrees Fahrenheit. In the late spring and summer, Sydney can get northwesterly winds from the outback, which are dry and hot. Activities. Bondi Beach. Make sure to visit Sydney's iconic Bondi Beach and enjoy its kilometers of golden sands. The beach encompasses both a swimming and surfing and big city atmosphere. The beach is also the starting point for the beautiful six kilometer Bondi to Coogee coastal walk. Even on crowded summer weekends, you can find spots on the shore to relax and have barbecues. The Sydney Opera House is also one of the biggest symbols of the Sydney and is set front and center on the Sydney Harbor. This spectacular art center hosts plays, dance performances, classical concerts, and musical performances. It is home to the Australian Chamber Orchestras, Bangara Dance Theatre, Bell Shakespeare, Opera Australia, Sydney Theatre Company, and Australian, Australian Ballet. Surrey Hills. Walk past the tree-fringed Victorian terrace houses, sociable bars, and cafes. Surrey Hills attracts the most creative pieces of artworks and is one of the inner city's most charming neighborhoods. While sipping matcha lattes at Build Cafe or just walking dogs, Visitors will get a feel of how residents of Sydney spend their days. Willie's Baths. Willie's Baths is a large heritage listed ocean tidal pool with amazing sweeping sea views. Visitors can take a five minute stroll down the coastal walkway and enjoy the welcoming cafes on its upper tiers with accommodating changing rooms. Willie's Bath can be chilly as they are, they are ocean or harbor dips and can get crowded on warm weekends. Art Gallery, New South Wales. This art gallery is one of Sydney's premier art destinations and was established in 1871. The large classical building is home to a vast collection of fine Australian and international art, including colonial 19th century Australian and European pieces. It is free to visit the permanent collection, but specific shows require tickets. This museum draws over a million visitors a year. Cockatoo Island. 
This UNESCO World Heritage Site combines colonial convict history with industrial shipbuilding pieces. There are 90 minute self-guided audio tours offered to inform visitors of Cockatoo's past. Visitors can also book ticket, ticketed guided tours that include private convict precinct tours and shipyard slash nighttime haunted history tours for groups. Carriage Works Farmer Works Market. This Carriage Works Farmer Market is one of Sydney's best produce markets and takes place every Saturday morning. It is held in a cave-like covered open air hangar in the historic former rail yards in Evelyn. Visitors can shop for seasonal local produce at this respective farmer's market, which features stalls by farmers and artisans from across New South Wales. Although stalls change, a popular stall is the Tasty Vegan Sausages from Susie Spoon's Vegetarian Butcher. Holidays and Festivals. Lost Paradise Festival. This three-day camping festival is one of the best New, Year, New Year's Eve festivals in Australia and is a short 80 minute ride from Sydney. Throughout Glenworth Valley, there's a diverse lineup of live music and underground house and techno. Although they just finished their fourth edition, the music festival exhibits great music and comfortable camping. This festival typically occurs from December 28th to January 1st. Sydney Festival. This festival occurs in January for around three weeks, displaying city-wide performances from all over 1,000 artists from throughout the world. Performances are held all over the city, from carriage works to Riverside Theater to Sydney Opera House. Visitors can see dancers perform circus numbers and catch the Sydney Symphony performances. Culture. Sydney offers plenty of opportunities for swimming, surfing, sailing, and other outdoor sports. Although water pollution remains a concern, it is possible to swim from several beaches in the harbor. Surfing is made relatively safe through their voluntary life-saving clubs, which provide guards and rescue equipment on all beaches throughout the summer. And there are many golf courses and facilities for football sports like football and rugby. Sydney Olympic Park was constructed for the 200 Summer Olympic Games and was built on reclaimed industrial wasteland. Buildings were made by using recycled materials and were designed to conserve energy and water. And at one point in time, there was a serious shortage of theaters and concert halls in the city. However, this was fixed with the creation of the Sydney Opera House that opened in 1973. Food. Baramundi. This is a very popular Australian fish served commonly in Sydney. They are high in heart healthy omega-3 fatty acids and can be easily farmed without antibiotics. This fish is also a great source of protein with a mild flavor and toothsome texture. Sydney rock oyster. Though, it tastes, can, though its taste can differ by habitat, the Sydney oyster has a deep, rich sweetness. It can be enjoyed raw, roasted, or shallow fired in a light batter. The Sydney Rock Oyster pairs well with wine or bacon and Worcestershire sauce. Lamington Cake. This is a beloved local delicacy that is considered to be the national cake by many. It is a moist, sweet square of sponge cake that is soaked in rich chocolate sauce and rolled in flaky coconut. They can be found in a variety of bakeries, and some like to add jam and cream to the center for sweeter flavor and richer texture. Potato Cakes. This fried potato cake is a common staple known for its crispy outer shell and soft, airy inside. The milk flavors of the potato pair well with a variety of other staples, such as smoked salmon, eggs, and avocado. In some restaurants, these potato cakes can be used as accompaniment for fish and chips. Fun facts. This city is the 12th most expensive city in the world and is known for its luxury and high-end buildings. 65% of the finance industry of Australia are located in the city. Sydney was a location for many famous movies, such as the Matrix series and The Great Gatsby. People who are born and live in Sydney are called Sydney Siders. There are over 5 million people living there and more than 250 languages are spoken. The fish market is the biggest fish market in the Southern hemisphere and the third biggest in the world. And that concludes our tour. Thank you everyone for visiting Sydney.